What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today we're going to talk about not one, but two very, very simple little combination riffs that you can try on the bongo in the middle of a martillo. Oh yeah, you got to love it. You already know what day it is, it's Tutorial Thursdays. So to all the new subscribers, welcome to Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but just had to welcome you to the channel. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, well, really don't know what to tell you. It's free to subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And I normally upload videos every Monday and every Thursday. It's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, all the comments, sharing my videos, man, writing to me, messaging me. Seriously, man, I love it when people share their variations of the things that I do and just the things that I show and their comments on it, man. Trust me, I love it and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Just love having that communication with all of you, man. Gotta love it gotta love it so i know i haven't covered bongos in a while and i actually wanted to do something in regards to the combinations just something simple for you guys to try to practice these upcoming weeks i'm going to be crazy crazy busy so it's going to be hard for me to just sit down here and just do a video for you guys so you're going to see me out a lot and yeah i mean that's just going to happen it's kind of like gig season for me but yeah, you gotta love it. But yeah, these combinations are very similar, but very simple. And I believe that you could try these out. It's kind of like a nice little play with the time a little bit and kind of surprising to do it in the middle of a martillo, but it's really, really, really easy. I think you guys should try it out. Just try it out. But yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about. That is some fun stuff. You got to love it. You gotta love it. But yeah, let me uh, show you what I'm doing. If you notice, it is very kind of like groovy, a smooth little riff that you can do. Either one, either one's very smooth, very luscious, very gorgeous, suave, very beautiful. But yeah, you can see the foundation of the martillo and kind of like the placement of where these two little riffs or combinations are placed. So my basis is really a basic, simple martillo. So what I do is I start off with a slap with my dominant hand on the macho. After doing that slap on the macho of my dominant hand, what I'm gonna do with my non-dominant hand is do a finger tap on the middle of the macho and then I'm going to do an open with my dominant hand on the macho. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put that together, after doing that open with my dominant hand, now with my non-dominant hand, I'm gonna do like a palm or a thumb hit or just whatever technique you decide to use like in a basic martillo, but it's really for me, it's like a combination of like a palm and a thumb, like this lower area right here. I'm gonna do that with my non-dominant hand on the macho, and then again, I'm gonna leave that there so I could do my slap with my dominant hand. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put that together, it's gonna sound like this. Now 
Now this next part is what kind of now this next part is what kind of finalizes the section of the martillo before getting into the actual combinations and this goes for both parts. After doing that slap with your dominant hand on the macho, what you're going to do with your non-dominant hand is you're going to do a finger with a macho, then with your dominant hand you're going to do an open on the hembra and then with your non-dominant hand you're going to do an open or you can do like an open slap or a slap, whichever floats your boat. I do a nice little combination of both of like an open kind of slap type of feel, but I do that all with my non-dominant hand on the macho. So to hear that, it's gonna sound like this. So to put everything together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. Yeah, just so you could hear the difference in all of those. But yeah, something like that. After doing that open with your non-dominant hand on the macho, now all the attention is gonna be now on the hembra. And what you're going to do is you're going to do an open with your dominant hand on the hembra, and then you're gonna do another open with your non-dominant hand on the hembra. So it's gonna sound like this. Again, you want to put these two notes together, not much like a flam, but somewhat close. But yeah, it's going to be something like that. And you're actually going to do that two times in a row. So it's going to sound like this. And then the next part, what you're going to do is you're going to do an open with your dominant hand on the embra, another open with your non-dominant hand on the embra, and then an open with your dominant hand on the embra. So it's gonna sound like this. So just to put this part together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. Immediately after doing that open with your dominant hand on the embra, what you're going to do is your non-dominant hand is going to go back to the macho. You're going to do one open on the macho with your non-dominant hand, and then with your dominant hand, you're going to finish off the combination with doing one open on the embra. So it's going to sound like this. And this part is kind of to reference back what the ending of the martillo would have been. So it's kind of like included in the combination. But if you put it separate, this is how this whole part is going to sound like. Just if you put it separate, just this part, including that ending, is going to sound like this. See how it has kind of like that stutter, like da 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 da. Like it just just had like a little flare and stutter and some like kind of finessing going on in this little part right here. But yeah, let me just put that whole thing together and not kind of continue the martillo, just so you could hear this version of the combination. So it's gonna sound like this. That is kind of a nice, you got to love it. Now the other combination is very simple, but it's kind of tricky when it comes to the feel of things. But it starts exactly the same as the other one. You're gonna start doing the martillo up to this point.
And like the other combination, immediately after doing that open on the martillo, you're gonna go and put all your attention here on the embra. And I'm gonna try to show you the best way to try to get the feel of this last part, just so you can kind of divide or subdivide your mind. Yeah, something like that. So what I do is I do one open with my dominant hand on the embra, then an open with my non-dominant hand on the embra, and then an open with my dominant hand on the embra. So it's gonna sound like this. Again, that's the feel. Those three should kind of go together. That little triplet should kind of have, like, like if it's one whole note, put them all mashed up together like some mashed potatoes. That's what that is. But immediately after doing that open on the embra with your dominant hand, you're gonna do another open with your non-dominant hand on the embra. And again, this should feel kind of separate from those other three notes. So again, it's an open on the embra with your non-dominant hand. But to put that together, it's gonna sound like this. You see how the feel is a little bit different? Now, if I were to put those four together, like if it's one whole sections of a note, it's gonna sound like this. But because I'm kind of separating that triplet with this note by itself, it's gonna sound like this. So to hear that difference, it's gonna sound like this. crazy there's still four opens but the way and the feel and how it's played completely different you gotta love it now you're going to do that roll twice so you're gonna do it once here on the embra but then the second time that fourth hit that little fourth note the accented one that we just talked about is actually going to be with your non-dominant hand on the macho so to kind of put that together it's gonna sound like this crazy that just that open on the macho kind of adds a different dynamic to that role. It's crazy. And then to finish off that combination, you're going to do an open with your dominant hand on the embra. So to put everything together, just the combination part, it's going to sound like this. You got to love it. Now, to play it along with the martillo stopping at that end point, it's gonna sound like this. Man, that is crazy. Now, to play them all the way through, together putting that first combination first, putting this combination last, it's gonna sound like this.
got to love it. My goodness. Now to count it very slowly, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 is a lovely you gotta love it man you gotta love it but all right y'all really do hope that you enjoyed this video just quick little combinations you could try out on the bone goals it's kind of lovely especially when you start getting into the placement of things and that accent and the feel man you gotta love that feel you gotta feel the feel you gotta feel the feel but all right, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend.